All right, we're getting ready to scrub some stains in this living room with the orc orbiter. He just basically got the bonnet, so it's pretty damp. He's getting ready to start up. This area here in front of the kitchen, the carpets are pretty uh, darkened. So he's going to scrub that a little bit. There's this, more of the carpet than that, but we're just yeah. going to the dirty parts. And then the stain over here, this is a big stain where people had their feet out and everything. We're going to show those, those stains being taken out. He's going to scrub the whole carpet lightly. But these dark areas are what we're mainly going to show because we're, uh, we've been having trouble with our uploads lately, so we're not going to try to make very long videos because it just takes for, it takes, uh, it's getting where it takes us two whole nights to upload like a seven or eight minute video. But we'll show the good parts. Yeah, so we'll we're going to kind of. Right now, this is a ton of dark stuff that's coming right out as we speak. We're going to go over this with the with the rub doctor and just extract everything when we're done. So if you you know if you have a, an orc orbiter or some sort of like a rotary buffer or something you want to do your carpets, you can either keep putting bonnets down and soaking up more and more of the dirt that's in the carpet, or if you have an extractor, you can just scrub the carpets real quick and then extract them. This helps make it easy for the extractor to pick everything up because it breaks it loose. Now the reason this is coming up good is two reasons. This bonnet is pretty aggressive. And we have a good pre spray. We don't tell people what our pre spray is anymore. We used to do that, and people start asking us a bunch of stupid questions about this, that, and the other. So here's the deal we have a good pre spray, that's enough to know. It yeah. takes this stuff up along with the bonnet, and it does an amazing job. Every copper comes out of Mecca, every time, no matter what. So, but the, the bonnet, with this machine being aggressive, and the pre spray, that's the key to this coming up clean. If you look at it, you can see it's coming up very, very clean, very quickly. I'm not working at it. All right. Yeah, if you ask us, if you ask us questions about the what pre-spray we're using, there's certain things that I've answered hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times. We're just tired of talking about it. And so if you ask me certain questions, you know, I'm sorry, but I'm probably just not going to pay attention to it because we we don't want to spend all of our time on YouTube answering questions we've answered over and over again. We're too busy to do that. Yeah, if you look through some of our past catalog of videos, you can get an idea what kind of pre-sprays we've used in the past. And uh, we show whether they work or not. And you can make up your own mind because it's something you can experiment with. We have. Just experiment with different things. You can, uh, if you have a place close by you where you can buy the chemicals that the professional services use, you could try some of those. They're a little more expensive, but some of them work really good. But you may have, you may even find that some off-the-shelf products work a lot better than the professional chemicals. It just depends. So you want to experiment a little bit and figure out what works best for you. We'll tell you this much: to clean carpets, you want to use a degreaser. Well, it helps with these apartments. With all the carpet cleaning, get a good degreaser and you can clean everything. Now that's a fact. Red stains, you use ammonia. See this stain? See this stain? This dark area is scrubbing out pretty yeah, easily. Yeah, we don't guarantee to get stuff. I mean, you can't always get out a wear pattern or get the carpet fibers or the color stripped off the carpet fibers, but this is coming out real well. I'm not to the darkest of the part yet, but I have done some real good darkness up to this. This is getting into the darker areas. Now when you notice that your bonnet doesn't seem to be working very well anymore, then it's time to flip it over. Or you can go wash it out and uh, get a lot of the dirt out of it so it's ready to pick up more dirt. Or if you have another bonnet with you, you can just throw down a fresh bonnet. Now if you watch, you'll see the stuff just kind of magically disappearing. It just takes a little work uh, from the machine, not the operator. The machine will do it all for you if you know how to make the machine do your work for you. If you're working, then you're not making your machine work right. It's working you. This is easy. Get back a ways now and see if you can kind of tell. Now what I'll do is I'll flip the bonnet over and I'll put the paint side down and go over it some more. Yeah, now what you're noticing is the difference isn't so much the dark color, but the carpet just looks different where he's been scrubbing it at. The nap's been adjusted and it's fluffed it up a little bit, so it makes it look a little bit different, but the darkness has basically disappeared and the carpet's getting lighter. And it's not uh, all that difficult to do. Anybody out there who's been using a, uh, basically a, like a Hoover Steam Vac or maybe a big green machine or a rug doctor, 
Um, you kind of already know what your machines are capable of. And uh, if you do have the opportunity to get one of these sometime and get the carpet bonnets to go with it, it's really nice for uh, doing the pre-scrubbing. Makes your machine not have to work very hard. Makes your carpets come out cleaner. And you can also just clean the carpets with the bonnet. If your carpets are lightly soiled and you just want to keep them uh, touched up every month, then this is a better method because you're not putting so much water down into uh, your backing and in your pad. And if you go on the carpet cleaning farms, they'll tell you to get cotton bonnets. Not necessary. These are the ones that Orcs Est are the cheapest ones out there. They're, I guess they're polyester or something. And they do everything. We've never used a cotton bonnet, and we're not probably going to. We've never used a green straw bonnet. We've never used a, like a fiber pad. You don't need to. This has done everything up to now, and we've never, and we've done a couple hundred uh, dirty jobs with it. It's never failed. So just get the cheap bonnets that, that Orc sells through Amazon. They're ten, twelve dollars a piece. They do the jobs, and they do them good. I'll you stick know? a link to the bonnets in the video description. If you have access to that, just look down there, and I'll put in a link for the machine and for the bonnets. That way, you'll know which bonnets uh, to get. And it looks like he's done with that stain. He's getting ready to scrub the rest of the carpet down. If you want to spend more money than that on bonnets, more power to you, but it's not necessary. Well, let's see. We're going to be scrubbing some of these. Some of this this carpet in here is not too bad. We won't scrub it very much because we can just extract it. Um, this bedroom back here, and we're not going to show this being done on video because we're uh, kind of in a time crunch today, but this back here, we're going to scrub a little bit in this area, and then we're just going to extract everything, and it's not going to take all that long to do this, but uh, that's all we're going to show on the Orc Orbiter anyway. You get the basic gist of it. And if you've watched a lot of our other videos, you've already seen this thing in action. So. Oh, uh, this heavy stain, it's not coming out 100%. It's, 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 but it's coming out, it's, it's so close it won't matter. But the carpet's a different color here than it is over here. Yeah, there's they, a lot of they, things. They have furniture sitting here that cover yeah, this carpet. Yeah, there's a war. When you have worn areas where the traffic's been heavy at, your carpets are never going to 100% match up again. You can't fix that. Don't, don't sweat it. You can't no. do, just do your best and it's good. But anyway. Uh, we're going to shoot a little video when we extract in here, but it's not going to be very much of one because, again, it takes forever to upload them. And uh, you might uh, watch for that. But uh, until next time, thanks for watching. All right, we're getting ready to scrub some stains in this living room with the Orc Orbiter. He just basically got the bonnet, so it's pretty damp. He's getting ready to start up. This area here in front of the kitchen. The carpets are pretty uh, darkened, so he's going to scrub that a little bit. There's this, more of the carpet than that, but we're just going yeah. to do the dirty parts. And then the stain over here, this is a big stain where people had their feet at and everything. We're going to show those those stains being taken out. He's going to scrub the whole carpet lightly, but these dark areas are what we're mainly going to show because we're, uh, we've are we been having trouble with our uploads lately, so we're not going to try to make very long videos because it just takes for, it takes a, uh, it's getting where it takes us two whole nights to upload like a seven or eight minute video. But we'll show the good parts. Yeah.